Are you thinking of moving to the Seattle area but you don't know about the neighborhoods? Well, today we are doing a walking vlog tour of Wedgwood. What's up, everybody? My name is Tova Williamson. Leah Zamir, Guild Mortgage. On this channel, we shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in the Seattle metro area. So if those are videos you want more of, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, you'll be notified every time a new video comes on. We get reach outs all the time from people. We love hearing from you, but we can't help unless you call. Give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you move into Seattle. <laughs> So today we are in Wedgwood, which is a neighborhood of Seattle, Northeast Seattle. And we're actually standing right on Wedgwood Rock, if you can see behind me. That's, That's where the neighborhood got its name. Yeah, it's the namesake and it was from a glacier. It's moved right? here, dropped off by an ice sheet of a glacier, 1.5 million pounds, they can't move it. And because there was people doing drugs on it in the 1960s, they now fine you $100 if you climb on it. Oh. Oh, obviously. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, we'd be shooting this from the top of the rock. But yeah, we can't. Obviously. We don't want to get arrested. Let's just. <laughs> I think some, like, the $100 fine might be worth it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. I always heard about Wedgwood Rock, but I never really knew what it was. So, there you go. It's a big rock in the neighborhood. They couldn't move. <laughs> and it's just right back there. Somebody's house is situated right I in know. front of it, too. In front of it. Um, this is a really cool neighborhood. They. I was actually looking to buy here once and there was a an ordinance to possibly change this from single family to commercial zoning so they could build up the neighborhood more and mm -hmm. Wedgwood is very anti that. So they want to keep their neighborhood strong, but Seattle allows commercial zoning everywhere now. Yeah. So lost that battle. Yeah. But this neighborhood, I'd say yeah, it's just as north of kind of like the Bryant neighborhood kind of just like in the center of Northeast Seattle. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like we said, more suburban feeling. You'll see, I mean, just it's really common. A lot of these just kind of smaller rambler homes. It's described as a um, middle class neighborhood in Seattle, but I think nowadays, I mean, the starting prices here are like 800 for a like three bedroom, one bath house and upwards to a million for bigger houses. So. Yeah. I wouldn't really oh. consider this middle class. Low anymore. income in Seattle just got bumped up to 120, I think it's 124,000. Oh, so. dang. Okay, well, there you go. It's quite high. Look, cute little <laughs> Dalmatian fire hydrant. Man, I thought the metal one I saw the other day was cool. <laughs> So again, this neighborhood is very popular because of the school district. Um, a lot of people really flock to this area because of that. Also just because, like we said before, it's not a huge commercial, di commercial district. So a lot of people like that. And it's yeah. just kind of like smaller, quiet, quaint community. Sidewalks all over, so it's easy to walk. And then we're gonna walk out kind of on the main drag. There is a bit of commercial. It's not to say that there's like no commercial spots in Wedgwood, but... Um, there is like a strip of, you've got like your grocery store and Starbucks and all of that stuff. Yeah, still so. a pretty high walk score for being suburban, but yeah. you're definitely gonna want a car. Yeah, for here. sure, out here. And then once you get on that main drag, I think, what is it, 35th mm -hmm. Northeast, um, there are some apartments and some townhouses along there. You are seeing that more. Whew, we're going up a hill. Get we more. always choose the wrong route. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, for the most part, you're looking at single family here. Charming, quaint. But if you, I don't know how many of these other vlogs people watch, but if you notice, I mean, the streets are just like way wider here too mm -hmm. compared to some of the other neighborhood streets. Like you can fit two cars down the road here. Yeah. Or some neighborhoods you have to like pull over. You can over. park on both sides of the street is yeah. maybe a better way of saying <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> like, I mean, this is just... Wide open spaces. Dixie chicks. <laughs> They're just the chicks now. Oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> that was a trivia question the other day. Oh, you, you got it. <laughs> so, yeah, just kind of a quiet, quaint neighborhood, good schools, and then we'll be coming up on the kind of commercial strip here. All 
right, so now we are kind of on the main strip of Wedgwood. You can see behind us, we got Top Bot Donuts, which is like a classic Seattle donut shop. Delicious. Got Grateful Bread over here. A couple other, some cleaners. If there's like a Safeway on this strip, a Starbucks. They sell challah if you're Jewish. <laughs> challah. <laughs> They have a synagogue that touches here and Bryant, so for our last vlog. Right. Oh, there's the cute. So like I said to this strip, you do have more apartments and condos here on the main drag. And then once you get off the main street, it's mostly going to be single family. So you can kind of see these apartments here. No vacancy. Got your dentist up here got a gas station yeah chevron and then oh there are newer they've been building like i said more i think with this new up zone they've been building more um townhouses like here we've got a lot of new construction townhouses and there are some like live work lofts up here too where if you have like a home business you can um, have like the front as your kind of business and then your house up above. And those are conventionally financeable. Oh, good to know. A lot know. of people don't know good that. Good to know. Yeah, what else is up here? I don't know, Wedgwood's cute because like there's a lot of stuff to do in, in Snohomish County, like in Linwood and things like that. But if you live in Seattle, it's kind of hard to get to. But here you have a lot of modes of transportation to get around. Also in Wedgwood, we got Orange Theory and a Verace pizza. That place is delicious. Yeah, let's see. There it is. Oh, Gas man. in Wedgwood is 539. It's what, <laughs> the middle of July 2023. So, you know, I feel like that's pretty standard for Seattle, honestly. Um, but yeah. Barachi. These are like kind of those work lofts oh, that I yeah. was talking about. Those ones are cute too. Yeah. Got your cleaners, your dry cleaners. Um, yeah, and like we said before, the schools here are good. So a lot of people, it's a lot of families around here. It's not necessarily like the hip place for going out or anything like that. It's more kind of a quaint, quiet neighborhood. And get the Safeway too. We're yep. walking distance. Safeway is your grocery There's store. There's a couple more shops up there. Yeah. So well, that's it. So Wedgwood's got what you need. After this, we're going to go to Magnuson Park, which is a park that's over on Lake Washington that's kind of close to Wedgwood. It's a huge park. They have this big dog park. And then um, it's a beach too. So we're going to go there next. <music> Park here. This is a huge park. There's like water, um, people uh, can put their boats in here. There's a boat launch. There's the world's best dog park mm -hmm. with water, so be careful if you don't want a wet dog. There's always like stuff going on. There's all those billboards. They do, um, I don't know if they've done them lately, but they'll do movies in the park on the weekend. Oh, they do? In the summer, yeah. I, mean, I don't, don't know cricket it, play. like post-COVID if they've done it, but... Mm, I'm sure they do. They, that, was a good, that was a good COVID event because it was outside yeah. on all the places they did movies.
right, so here we are at Magnuson Beach. I mean, look at that beautiful water. Getting ready to go kayaking. People yeah. kayak, stand a paddleboard, walk these trails, bike around. Swim, so this is Lake Washington. Mm -hmm. So it is not part of Puget Sound. It is not freezing cold, so you can't swim in it in the summer. If you would have been here this weekend, you probably would have seen like a hundred boats over yeah. there. And then, yeah, like I said, fireworks, like this is, I don't know if you can see way over there, but that's like Kirkland area. The east side is the, and Bellevue over that way. So you can catch fireworks over there. But it's just like, you know, parking lots back there. And we kind of drove around too. I mean, like we said, this is huge park. This is just like a tiny fraction of it. It's kind of where all of the Northeast neighborhoods that we were mm -hmm. chatting about come to. Yeah, and when it's hot, this is like where you swim. At least mm -hmm. I did. I don't like swimming in Green Lake or Lake Union. <gasps> no, I know. <laughs> so this is a bigger area to swim. So it's pretty great. But yeah, that's it. So if you're thinking of moving to Seattle, give us a call, email, text. We got your back.